Here we are at the Pokemon Cafe and I'm like trying to hide my inner fangirl. This is like one of those places that you imagine as a kid that it could potentially exist but you don't actually expect it to happen and here I am living my dream. So basically, when you sit down you don't really know what Pokemon you're gonna get so everybody sitting here gets a different one. And then when I turn mine, a budget Charizard, like what is this? When we were waiting, I took pictures of the food so it'd be easier to order because I thought they're not gonna speak English because nobody uh, spoke English at the entrance. So I was very worried, but actually, turns out you can order the food in this little iPad. They said we've got the table for an hour and a half, which is 90 minutes. So we can order for the first 60 minutes anything we want. So let's go on food. And basically these are like the savory foods that you can get. And I've decided that I want... <gasps> Where's the one that I wanted? I want that. I think you get the plate if you eat this. So, okay. I ended up changing my order because we found out that there's a Halloween section, which is stuff that is only available now. So I actually added some of these exclusive items and it came down to 7,000. That's quite a lot of money. I think I placed two different orders. Oh no. Sorry, because I, I think I accidentally pressed checkout <laughs> twice. The food just started arriving and these are the first two things that we got. So this is actually the main dish that I wanted to order. It's like a burger with a little bit of rice, I think, wrapped in egg. And it looks so freaking cute. You also have the option of buying the plate and taking it home, but I am cheap. So we're leaving the plate here. <laughs> that looks so cool. Wow. It looks so freaking cool. It's like a black bun. So many options for thumbnails. This is an iced latte, I think. I'm not entirely sure. There's no translations for a lot of the items, the special ones. So this is, it looks like uh, a matcha green tea latte, maybe. It's got like Pikachu in like powder. I don't know what powder that is. Wait, let's find out. I'm gonna ruin it for getting a photo. I've never tasted that before. Things to note is don't come here unless you really love Pokemon because this is very expensive. And look at the small amount of fries that comes with this. Like, <laughs> I can't really remember the name of this Pokemon. I don't know what this is on top. Like, I don't want to move it because I still want to get a photo and a thumbnail for the video. But I mean, everything looks really, really good. We've still got desserts coming as well. Should we get started? Wait, I want to get a thumbnail first. Officially now, we got all the photos, we got all the thumbnails, everything I needed so we can destroy everything and just start eating like the pig that I am. Not even funny when it's true. But look at the dessert. I also can't remember the name of this Pokemon. I'm not very good with the dark ones. Look at the attention of detail, how they did like that with the eyes. And then they even did this in like cocoa powder. And look at Jigglypuff in this one. This is a cheesecake and it's shaped like Jigglypuff and it just looks so freaking cool. Also super fluffy which is an actual representation of like, is this Jigglypuff or Clefairy? I don't, I'm not sure. I would happily sing the Jigglypuff song but I don't want to embarrass myself. Should I? No, I'm not gonna do it. No, no. I don't know what that's made of. Nothing. <laughs> literally has no flavor, it's like paper. It's literally the stuff you get in church, like I'm not joking, it tastes like that. See, once you grab it, it just starts falling apart, that's why I wanted to start with this one. When I tell you that this is delicious, you won't even believe me. Oh. <laughs> when I also tell you that this is a veggie burger and it's so freaking good, it's like vegetables on the inside, there's no actual chicken in it. I don't think so anyways. It's really weird because even though this is a black bun, if I close my eyes, it tastes like regular bread, like you literally can't even tell the difference. That's why they give you that. Or your milk mustache. Oh, by the way, I don't think there's matcha in the coffee. I think it's just like a cappuccino. It tastes like a cappuccino, but 
It's really good. Look at this sauce that comes with the burger. It's like a butter sauce. So what you're supposed to do is to just grab the chips and just dip them in this. I think it's a butter sauce. Actually, I might be wrong. Is this supposed to be soup? Mm. I'm either acting like an idiot by drinking the sauce of my chips or this might actually be sweet corn soup because it tastes like sweet corn and it's not very like sweet or like spicy to me it tastes like soup not like a sauce it's pretty good though I just had the best idea We've got some wet towels, which honestly, after eating like a pig, it's very much needed. This is both sad and satisfying. Can I go for it? Uh, I think it's rice in the center. Ooh. I don't know what flavor is in the rice, but it's like either tomato rice or like, I don't know. We'll find out. Oops. It honestly, it tastes like the rice that my mom used to make when I was little. My mom used to always make this vegetable rice. It tastes exactly the same. Like, I guess my mom has been running a Pikachu cafe all along and I didn't even know, but this is really good. I don't know how they make that egg on the outside so thin, but it tastes so good. This is the tail of the Pikachu, by the way. I don't know exactly what this is. It looks like guacamole, but then it's like brownish yellow. It's like kind of weird, but also kind of interested. I don't know how people can eat tomatoes like that. It tastes like sweet potato, but also like guacamole at the same time. It's like a, gua a sweet potato guacamole. That's the best way to describe it. And it's pretty good. It's very sweet. Oh, I almost forgot we got one of those. It's like a fried shrimp. I just realized now they're playing the Pokemon theme songs in the background and because it's so natural for me to be playing on my Nintendo DS I just I didn't even register as playing anything in the background look at these cute little stars do you think I can eat this? I'm gonna eat the ears as well this is so freaking morbid <laughs> I'm gonna bring the leftovers of everything with me because I want to try everything on camera. Oh my god, the sun is like making it so difficult to film this video because it's either blown out, too much light or too dark. There's like no in... As you can see... I don't know what's going on. We've done... This is so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna try this one first because this one is my favorite one so I'm gonna start with this one and save the best for last as usual this is like a cereal mix it's like corn flakes and ew it's got raisins in it well this has just been officially cancelled I'm gonna destroy it no <laughs> Oh, it's like cake in the center, but look, it's the tiniest, smallest amount of cake. And then it's got all this cereal that sticks to it. Let's add some whipped cream on it. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my god. This is gonna be a mess to eat. The whole thing kind of tastes like breakfast cereal. That is literally the only way to describe this. It tastes like cereal. Keeping it real, 
guys, it isn't like I had two bites of this and it's practically all gone But if you care about the amounts of foods when you go to a restaurant, then maybe this is not the best place But if you love Pokemon, I think you'd love that. It tastes like fancy breakfast cereal Oh, should we get a close-up of cutting into Jigglypuff? And here goes the last one and my favorite one. This is a cheesecake Oh my god, that looks so sad we pay so much money for this, for this to happen. I mean, can you see that? That is beautiful though. We kind of saw it coming, but this is officially now my favorite one that I've tried all day. This is really good. It tastes like cheesecake, but also like lemon a little bit, but it's so like subtle. It's very, very good. I love that. I'm going to try to assemble everything in one. Oh. Wait, that doesn't make sense. I'm not even gonna lie, I ended up buying so much stuff at the Pokemon store. I also ate so much food. I feel like I still have a food baby from all those like Pokemon items. I just wanted to quickly show you some of the stuff that I bought because I know you guys love this and especially if you click this video, you're probably a Pokemon fan, so you're gonna appreciate this almost as much as me. I travel a lot for my videos, so I got this luggage cover because, you know, I want to protect my luggage. I can't wait to show you. I can't wait to put this on and then take an Instagram photo. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see this or my actual luggage. Once I put this on the internet, this is gonna stay forever, but I travel a lot and like one of the problems with traveling is, I never talk about this, but like laundry and <laughs> most specifically, Underwear is like such a huge problem because I'm always running out of clean underwear. That is weird to put in a video So I also bought some Pokemon underwear. I don't even know what they look like yet uh, Oh wow <laughs> uh, That is a look that is also way too small is that? That's way too small for me. How am I gonna fit in this? I got this luggage tag. This one is like a Pikachu one. And then I bought one for my backpack as well. Because, I mean, I've wanted to buy this Polaroid camera for so long. And then I saw they had a Pikachu version. And it kind of reminded me when I was like six. And I had this Pokemon Game Boy color. I just could not not buy it. And also, this is like tax free because uh, I'm a tourist. So I thought, you know what? This is gonna be cheaper than if I buy this back home. I'm just trying to justify the fact that I spent like $80 on this. Now, I do have to say, and this is just like, if you ever come here, this is something that you should know. It is a little bit expensive, and also, you don't get that much food. But the food that you get is delicious, and to me, I would say it's worth it. If you're a fan, go there. If you're not that much of a fan, maybe there's better ways you can spend your money in Tokyo. I have a lot of videos about Tokyo coming up. Even though I am in a food coma, I genuinely enjoyed filming this video, so thank you for letting me fanboy all over this stuff that I loved as a kid and I still love now clearly and not judging me I never feel judged when I make this video so thank you for making this a comfortable space I love you I hope you had fun and I will see you guys on my next video bye bye